All right, this is the first truck for the challenge right here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock up the diffs and fucking dive right into it. I'm thinking this is gonna take a little while. Holy moly, that thing is loud, huh? Maybe we just need some more wheel speed. So this is UCB Gaming's truck. I have some crib sheets here. If we're having trouble getting past this first section, this is not the most extreme climb in the course. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. So we can move on. I don't want to completely discount it because I was having trouble with one portion of the course. We can move on to the second portion of the course, which is more about control and uh, just staying on the ground. Oh, I'm getting that, getting that axle hop chatter coming through the wheel. Give it too much throttle because if you get too wild in here, you're gonna slide off the road. This is where having a lightweight vehicle with lots of traction and good available power is really, really critical. You don't want something that, um, you know, has got like a big turbo on it or something. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in first gear here. Oh, no, 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 no. So that might have been a little bit my error, but at the same time, I slowed down. I wasn't being reckless. So, you know, I've got to say that, that truck just, I don't, really don't think that truck was going to stick. All right, here is our second vehicle in the test. This is the Armor Motors SP-1. So far, I'm just easing into it. It seems to be settling into the groove a little bit better than the UCB Jeep did. Let's see if I can try to claw up the sidewall here. Foot hard down right now in first gear. It's definitely got some more tire to it, which is going to help it make its way up. I got a text message. There we go. See, you know, that's what I'm talking about. That's a little bit more reassuring. It's still struggling, but it's, you know, it made its way up. Alright, so apparently this truck wants to roll over. There we go. There we go. Now we got her settled. Go ahead and get that turbo spooled up. Get her cranking. Get her climbing. Get her clawing. Come on now. Getting a lot of axle hop coming through the wheel. Careful here, I don't want to. This truck is running solid axles. Um, I think quite a few in the competition are, which I'm not sure was the way to go. Um, I did release this map for people to try out. And um, I'm really surprised to see as many solid axles as I do. Solid axles on this course is probably not going to be helpful. It might help on the gradient portion after this hill climb. Here we go. Good, good. Staying under control. Let's see if I can get around this corner. I'll put her into one low. Try to... Holy shit. Give it all of the advantage possible. What you don't want to be doing right in here is get wild on the throttle and fuck yourself over. Let's see if she's gonna stick here. Champ. 
See, this is where those wide tires are going to help out. Giving it lots to grip on, and the turbo is helping keeping the... Basically, the turbo is nice because you get a nice meaty torque curve right in the middle of the RPM band. You know, if you run a naturally aspirated engine, sometimes the problem you run into is if you fall out of your power curve, then, it, you know, the engine can't keep up, and then you wind up changing gears. So where the turbo helps you out is it makes that nice meaty torque curve right in the middle of your power band. So if you fall out of your horsepower band, you still got, oh man, oh man, oh man. You fall out of, see that's those wide tires saving this thing right now. If it weren't for the wide tires, this thing definitely would have fallen off. Yeah, so sometimes the turbo can help you avoid a lot of extra shifts by giving you a nice big chunk of torque right in the middle of your horsepower band. And then this is more of the same basically, so you know I might cut some of this. This is the free runner hill climb vehicle. This is a non turbo V6. Lots of power, as you can see, I haven't even locked the diffs yet. Huge, huge tires. Like, I cannot believe the tires that he got on this thing. They're bigger than the tires I got on my truck, I'll tell you that much. Lots of feedback through the steering wheel. You probably can hear that thing clicking around. As you can see, I'm in, ooh, probably came down that hill a little fast. Coming up with so much confidence kind of uh, inspired me a little bit. Second gear, I'm not quite hard down because I don't want to get carried away on this and wind up going off the other side here. But as you can see, this thing is just annihilating these hills. Hard shift into third gear, foot down, cranking away. Now, to be fair, when I released this track, I didn't say it was done. And I added this whole back section here, the, um, the gradient section, I call it. So this vehicle dominated that tube section, uh, but it is, if you can tell by the camber and the tires, designed very specifically to deal with that. So I'm curious to see if this design holds up on this off-camber section where it's wide and flat and slippery. Now it's doing the climb well, but I was in fourth gear foot hard down on my way up, which obviously is going to give it some momentum. And this thing has plenty of power, 319 horsepower, which in this field is a lot. Might be the highest. If, if it's not the highest, it's definitely in the running for the highest. Fully sideways, giving it a little bit of throttle to keep it on. Oh shit, that's my bad. You don't have to fight the inertia of some big heavy pistons to get the engine to rev up, which does help it out here. so bad okay once it touches the ground here yeah 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 
I don't think any truck is going to pass that. That is literally the end of the course there. All right, now we have the Camel Factor Jeep Thingy Challenge. He was nice enough to put some badging on here. It says fire. Can't see it with all this mud. Fire something. In any case, in um, 144 horsepower. Yeah, we're going to... Um, it does have five gears, which is helpful in low range. Because like I say, with this car's limited power, you need gearing. Just slam it into third. I didn't even let off the gas. sliding down the hill you don't want to be just on the brakes because that will just make you slide off of the oh shit alright alright next up we have the Prince of All Science Great Star and I'm going to go ahead and put this one in low right off the bat, because on the drive over here I noticed it is a little underpowered. Only revs to... oh man. Okay. That might be, you know, some sloppy gear changes. We'll give this another try. Um, this one is probably one of the heaviest contenders. 3,700 pounds. Go ahead and start it out in third gear so I don't have to stop and change gear. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. It was going great till it hung up there for a second. Here we go, hammer down. Still keeping the tires spinning, so I'm going to keep it in fourth gear. If the tires are still spinning, it doesn't benefit you to downshift. There we go. Good bit of driving right there, if I don't say so myself. So. There it is. There it is. That thing actually on the gradient portion did actually really well. Alright, now we have my truck, which as you can see is clearly the best looking truck in the game. I'll dive right in and see if this thing is worth a damn. Now I went with a twin turbo V8. Higher, huh? Oh, come on. There it goes. Oh shit, I never even locked the diffs. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, is this thing really that bad? I never even locked the diffs. It just did that climb with the diffs open. Driver error. I 
didn't realize which direction my steering wheel was pointing, and I drove my truck right off the fucking side. Try out that turbo fucking torque band. Give me the power, baby. I need all 290 pound feet right now. She gets down to 4,000 RPM and just keeps chugging. That's that turbo torque bump right there. This is one of the occasions where a turbo engine is really, really good. Anything where you're having to like do a sustained, you know, full power pull, the turbo can help you fill in that power gap. Stretch to go here. Oh, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Yeah. Alright, now we have the Owens Golden Fox. This truck, I. During the 100 mile per hour challenge, I discovered that it is very low on power not have a lot of tire. I think this truck is going to struggle. Yep, she's having a rough time. She is having a rough time. Suspension is certainly soft enough. This truck actually only did 99 miles per hour. Whoops, that's my fuck up. Here we go. 2,791 pounds is the weight of this vehicle. And it has 142 horsepower out of a 280 cubic inch Boxer 6. 140 horsepower. Baba, stop it. Now we have the Tsunami Dry. Oops, where did I go with it? Here we go. The Off Road Mark 7, 2382 pounds. Naturally aspirated V8, as I'm sure you can tell. Plenty of power, 323 horsepower, 391 pound feet of torque. Definitely among the top in the group. Very low revving, so it's got all of that power available down low. In there. Alright, come on.
tile points, I guess. Feeling pretty good about third year. Go ahead and pin it. What was that? 390 pound feet of torque or something? Ooh, don't want to look now. Yeah, she is cranking. This thing I think has more power than my truck has. Piece of shit. It was obviously going to make it to the end, um, but I was just dicking around, not paying attention really, and um, managed to let it slide off the track. So that's the last vehicle. I'm going to have to kind of put all the scores together and come up with a little um, who won thing. All right, so we're going to have a shootout since I couldn't really pick a winner amongst the vehicles that we're able to complete the challenge we're gonna have a hill climb timed shootout so basically as soon as this thing leaves the top of the ramp I'm gonna call that time Let's try this one in low, start off in like third. So that means my truck did it in 2707, Freerunners did it in 3549, Tsunamis did it in 2831. So I actually didn't honestly expect this, I didn't want this, but um, based on this my truck ended up winning.